New York Times bestselling author Dr. Kevin Lehman says every family has what he calls a powerful child. He also says that these strong-willed kids don't just happen, they're created. And the secret to turning your child's attention-seeking, power-driven behavior in a positive direction is to take control. In his latest book, Parenting Your Powerful Child, Dr. Lehman shows you how to end the everyday battles with your children so you can prepare them for a productive adult life. And please welcome back to the 700 Club, a former powerful child himself, Kevin Lehman. Well, they say, Kevin, it takes one to know one. What kind of powerful child were you? I can only imagine. Well, I crawled out of uh, world history class on my hands and knees. I was thrown out of Cub Scouts. I graduated fourth and bottom of my class in high school. I mean, I, I was a handful. Baby of the family, attention getter. But uh, you give hope for everyone. You've written 40 books. You were like a terrible student. Yeah, and, and uh, powerful kids, my goodness. They're all over. What are some characteristics, um, trademarks of powerful kids? Well, they're easy to spot. Some of them are the ones who throw temper tantrums in the mall. And of course, with that powerful child, you step over the child. <laughs> and notice this little ankle biter follows you when you step over him. Why? because that's his way of saying, hey, I'm an authority over you. So those guys are easy to spot. The teenager who slams the door, mm -hmm. you know. And, and what do most parents say to that kid, Wendy? Don't you slam a door in this house, young man. Right. Do you think it could work, parents, if you said something like, excuse me, honey, what does that slam door mean? Does that mean uh, you're sick of living in this uh, four-bedroom home with all the amenities <laughs> of life? In other words, don't go asking for trouble with powerful kids, because they come also, Wendy, in the quiet, Sensitive. Dr. Lehman, Melanie is very sensitive, very sensitive child. <laughs> be careful, because these sensitive, shy little kids mm -hmm. can be powerful little buzzards. Like very maybe manipulative or something. Oh, yeah. They're great at it. Now, is there always one, at least one powerful child in a family or sometimes more than one? Well, there can be more than one. There's usually one. But here's the, the interesting thing is we create, in the little tease we had, it says, Lehman says, we create the powerful child. Mm. Parents, you're the power source. So let's take little Fletcher. He's just mm. 18 months old, and he could win Olympic gold at arching his back. <laughs> and you try to get him into the high chair, and he arches back, and his wife says to Roger, Roger, just give him to me. I'll hold him, honey. So there's little Fletcher being hand-fed mm. on mommy's lap. Now, you be 18-month-old Fletcher for a minute. Okay. Would you rather be fed on mommy's warm lap or sit in that cheap plastic chair they bought at Walmart? Mommy's warm lap, for sure. Yeah. So we teach kids yeah. if they are powerful and we try to make them happy, happy, happy <laughs> at every turn. If you're a parent who's lying awake at night and mm. saying, you know, if the truth were known, I would like to FedEx at least one of my children to a far-off land, uh, this is a book for you. Why is it so important to identify powerful children early, like, you know, 18 months or...? Well, because the powerful child becomes the powerful pubescent and adolescent. You don't want An the, adult. An adult. And then the husband or the wife. You know, in all the years of working with married people, I've never heard a woman say to me, Oh, Dr. Lehman, I love the way my husband controls me. <laughs> because the powerful people tend to be controllers. Mm. And so we're back to what good old St. Paul said, train up a child, uh, 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 train Ephesians up a child 6. They should go. Oh, okay. Ephesians 6, it's interesting. The train up a child is a fundamental thing, but it says in the way he should go, which indicates that each child is different. But in Ephesians 6, he says, children, obey your parents. It's the right thing to do. Then he flips around and says, what? And now where do you parents? Mm. So it's that balance, not the authoritarian, hey, you're going to do what I tell you to do, <laughs> which is what most certainly Christian and people of faith have brought their kids up with that kind of admonitions. But now we have the permissives who want their kids to be happy, right. who do their homework for them, who enroll them in non-competitive soccer because every child, Dr. Lehman, should get a trophy. <laughs> so we have these extremes represented, but the only way, God's way, quite frankly, is to bring up kids in healthy authority. And that negates the child becoming the powerful center of attention. Were you a firstborn? No, I was a schnookie. You were a baby? I was a baby. I had a sister who was perfect and still is. 
and a brother who was the quarterback on the football team and see well, every this, child this, tries to get attention. It's interesting because, see, I'm a firstborn and you are the baby, so we are very opposite because firstborns tend to be trailblazers and go-getters and controlling and perfectionists. And, perfectionists. and the babies are the entertainers. They I read are. that in your book. I thought that is so true. I'm the oldest of five. My baby brother, he's... Um, he made us laugh and you know he's an attorney now but he's still the jokester yeah. he's still hilarious billy crystal eddie murphy jim carrey martin short You're chevy kidding. chase steve martin ellen degeneres whoopi goldberg S steve colbert jonathan stewart stewart i mean they're babies they're all babies isn't that amazing yeah. there really is something to that then. look at my socks <laughs> lord have mercy do you see the problem i'm um now, that is a baby of the family socks. Now, that reminds me of, like, the Joker and Batman. Well, you know, like. but see, I, I competed with older sister and brother. And what I learned as a kid, I mean, I've shrunk myself. But see, so a kid can be powerful in any position of the family. The point is, if you, parent, can learn to change your words you choose to use with your kid, and this is the best part of the book. Yes. You can change that kid's life. For example, a kid says, I want to go to a concert. Hey, you're not going to a concert. We're not spending all that money. We're not driving all that way. Hey, you're the parent. Do you think you could say, oh, hey, that's interesting. Tell me more about it. Mm -hmm. I I'm open to it. Tell me what you got in mind. In other words, you're either going to talk to your kids and make a difference, mm -hmm. or they're going to go and slam and click their door and text their buddies like a woodpecker that's got ADHD and shut you out of their life. So if you want to have influence, you got to talk to your kids. And there's an example in the book about the, the parents want the kid to go to grandma's birthday party, but he wants to go someplace else and right. play basketball or something. And instead of saying, no, you know, you're going, that, that's, you say, that's, you're asking for a fight. Yes, and that's the authoritarian. Hey, you know something, honey? I know you want to go hang out with your buddies. This is grandma's big birthday. Right. We're going to go and celebrate and honor her. You know, in life, you don't always do things you want. But I want you to think about something. Your grandma, who I know you love, yeah. is not going to be here forever. Mm. So with all due respect, get ready, because we're going to leave in about 45 minutes. Right. <laughs> that sounds better. And then maybe that could, it's, and you also say, make it a teachable moment, right? Yes. K kids are dumber than mud. <laughs> and let me go on record as saying that. If you don't believe me, by the way, call your insurance agent <laughs> and ask your insurance agent why you pay so much money for your 16-year-old to drive. And they'll tell you because uh, they're dumb as mud. <laughs> and they do dumb, stupid things. So we need to make situations teachable so kids understand that everybody in this family gives back to the family. And so the kid's looking for the car keys on a Saturday. He was supposed to clean the garage. He didn't. You say to him, very matter of fact, honey, you're not going to find the keys. They're right here in my pocket. Well, give them to me. I'm going to be late. Coach is going to get mad. Honey, you were going to clean the garage. You see, you haven't touched it. And what's great about your book is you have scenarios where a, it says, want to fight, and this is what you say to your kids oh, yeah. if you want to have a fight, yeah. and B, here's how you, you know, put that. Book know. 44, but I think, I think parents are going to just bathe themselves in this book. There's all kinds of takeaway for mommies, whether your kid is 4, 14, or 24. So this, like you said, this is your 44th book. 44. Yeah. Why, why now? Why this book now? Well, I think a lot of parents feel like General Custer on that final last day of his life. <laughs> uh, we're producing powerful kids in mass. Kids shorter than a yardstick, quite frankly, Wendy, are in full control of the adults around them. And powerful in a negative sense, yes. because that's how you use this word. Right. Yeah, because you, powerful can be good. And you want your kid to be strong-willed. Yeah. It, power, Strong-willed and powerful are not the same. Strong-willed kids, you want your kid to stand up and say, no, you want to have convictions. You want to stand up to the world that says, be cool and do everything we do. Mm -hmm. You want your kid to be different. But the powerful kid has an agenda that says, I'm going to win, I'm going to dominate, I'm going to mm. control. And you don't want that because that's unhealthy all the way around. All right. Well, it's fascinating. It's going to help a lot of parents. And we really appreciate you being with us, Dr. Lehman's latest book is called Parenting Your Powerful Child. It's available wherever books are sold. And God bless you. Thanks for being with Thank us. Thank you, Wendy. Yeah.